don't know if you know this, Thor News is for winners, and that's why you're here. So stick around. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... Ladies and gentlemen, the last video was for you. I tried to stick to all the facts and reasonable probabilities and possibilities that will come from all the risks and dangers of a landfalling hurricane of monster Helene's possibilities. Am I making any sense? No? Well, that's fine because this video is for me. Well, I don't know what I'm going to talk about, but I mean definitely hurricanes because they fascinate me. And the 18Z GFS is in... And that right there is its guesstimation of Hurricane Helene. See those rain bands? The rain bands are tripping me out, man. Like, if those things train over one specific area or multiples, that's a lot of rain flooding danger. All right. And then this GFS is trying to predict the future. Going like, will there be more hurricanes we might have to deal with eight days from now? right around the time of the second eclipse of end of the year eclipse season. Although I think there are three total. So it's like act one, act two, act three. Right there, boom, doubles. So you got Helene, and see those rain band trains? Giant rain chunks. I mean, this is gonna affect not only Florida, but Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, Tennessee, Virginia, and Northard. And then it says there might be one or two you gotta deal with it after. And multiple models have suggested shit like that. And the GFS is suggesting that 30 hours from now, you see these rain band things here or here. Oh, dang. That thing. Well, that's what we're kind of looking out for. Helene's going to have like weird rainmaker arms. I mean, look how giant this rain field is. You know, it's huge. It's big. It's massive. And that's 30 hours from now. I mean, 36 hours from now it's like helene is the tutor and then the rooter is up here i mean that's a giant storm that goes all the way all the way up into canada and oh, i can't see the top maybe it twists over into greenland that is thursday like 10 a.m texas time fast forward 12 hours and check out our rain bands i mean it's got look at that dude that thing's crazy and it's pushing upward and then we still got the rain arm train in and it's still a long North American storm. Now we go ahead six hours. Thursday about 4.30. And notice how the up and downness of the rain bands. As this thing moves north, this will have potential to lay some real floody railroad tracks of rain. And landfall, or almost landfall, is the frame that made me go, oh, I'm going to make another video. Look how weird this thing looks. It looks very weird to me. Yeah. And then nobody knows what's going to happen a week from now, but the 18 ZGFS is taking a guess. There's one, although that is fish to one. And then there's two. Oh, wow. And then there's something down by Mexico. They just got hit by Category 3 John. Did some damage. So, yeah, definitely. The next two weeks are probably going to be pretty damn hurricane-y. I mean, that's incredible. That is the sky, the atmosphere, and the life and weather under it. And there are glitches. Did you see them? Glitches, asterisk. Asterisk. Oh, look at that. That's super fascinating. Definitely. I'm paying attention. I'm obsessed with the situation. All right. God bless everyone. Stay cool. And then comets are coming. So they say, stay cool. I'm doing an asteroid fight club video to reinforce stability and harmony in the civic world.